after many 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 videos i finally came to the conclusion that i am fat phobic i think it's just the way i was born to be completely honest with you guys my amigos and amigas shout out to you you guys are the best looking fire as always but yeah i guess it's just time for me to admit it the reason why i always clown on fat people it's obviously because they're not annoying no that couldn't be it obviously because they make some of the stupidest points possible no that that, that couldn't be either it's solely based on how they look of course, 100%. And you may be wondering, what was it, Sensitive? What made you finally admit it? And to be completely honest, there were these two videos that we're about to take a look at. Let's start with number uno. I am not fat phobic. I have friends who are fat, and I think they're great, and I love them. I just don't ever want to be fat. You have people you care about who are in fat bodies, but you would never want your body to look like theirs. Why is that? I don't know. I just don't. Would it be okay if I threw out some ideas? And then we have her making some of the dumbest points I've ever seen. Okay, so let's just play the game. Let's play her game, shall we? Because I'm going to take your game and I'm going to play better than you. In the first play, we have a client. And then the client goes, yeah, I mean, I don't want to be fat. I don't want to look fat, but I respect the fat people. I just wouldn't want to be fat. It's valid. I think it's valid. So what about the people who have cancer? If you want to play that wacky game, let's play your crazy game. So I could have friends with cancer and they could be lovely people. And I wish them nothing but the best, but... I don't want to have cancer. I wouldn't want to have cancer. So if I don't want cancer, does that mean I'm cancer phobic? <laughs> Does that mean I hate the person? Absolutely not. The examples you're giving are so fucking stupid. It could be torn apart by a retard like myself, okay? And the sassiness. The sassiness is just way too much. Like, this woman right here looks like one of those substitute teachers that every kid hates. How do you to look like theirs? Why is that? I don't know. I just don't. Would it be okay if I threw out some ideas? Yes. Yeah. It be that you were instilled with negative beliefs and ideas about fatness is it because it's harder to be in a larger body in our society than it is to be in a smaller body you know what this looks like this looks like something that michael scott from the office would say <laughs> <laughs> this is a real video. This is meant to be taken 100% seriously. She could have all the certifications in the planet, but she's still a fucking idiot. It's harder to be in a larger body in our society than it is to be in a smaller body. Is it because you've noticed the privileges that you're afforded being in a thin body that are not granted to people who live in fat bodies? What privileges does a skinny person have? Are you talking about the modeling industry? Is that what you're referring to and how they only want skinny people? Well, not anymore. What skinny privilege are you talking about? I've never heard of it. I've never seen skinny privilege. I've never seen. If you weigh over 250 pounds, you cannot come into this restaurant. First time I'm hearing of this, actually. Could it be because of the misinformation you've been taught about what it means to be at a higher weight regarding your health? I mean, yeah, I guess. That feels icky, though. I know it's not easy to think about or talk about, but fat phobia is instilled in all of us. It's like the Kool-Aid we've been drinking since birth. First of all, that was kind of racist right there. And why? Because shout out to my black community who white people just stole the Kool-Aid from you guys. Like, shout out to y'all. This one's just appropriating your culture and my culture because I'm Latino. You know how we drink it. That's kind of offensive to me, actually, because once again, you're white and you have your privilege and you ain't never had a kool-aid like we had so i'm just like blown away I'm, I'm blown away by the racism in this video okay yeah i'm phobic what are you going to do about it i'm waiting here you can't completely unlearn it just like how we can't completely unlearn things like racism sexism or ableism what does this have to do with any of these how do you go from fat phobia which isn't a real thing if it is i'm proud to be it all the way to racism sexism and able you can't even compare them this woman is definitely emily a cap eat the rich lgbtq plus ally you know all the all the twitter bible shit the typical i feel so bad for her future boyfriend like if i was dating someone this fucking crazy i'll make one hell of a story time about her like i'll be this woman ruin my life in 10 seconds i dated a fucking twitter user or something like that i just feel so bad for her future boyfriend it's just yikes get out of the house stop reading twitter stop getting your politics from tiktok you fucking loser completely unlearn things like racism sexism or ableism we can make progress and recognizing those beliefs is a really important first step it makes sense that you might feel defensive or uncomfortable at having this named and pointed out it'll help you recover from your eating disorder it'll help you with body image and it'll help you show up more authentically in the world around you according to her we should all get fat we should all gain twenty-five thousand pounds and we should just be ourselves and die of a heart attack or die of diabetes or high cholesterol they just fuck it because guys if you're right now if you're a skinny person if you're a normal weight person or maybe you're like slightly overweight by 20 pounds or something like that this goes to you you guys who are not over 400 pounds what is the matter with you go gain some weight go to in and out go to five you guys go to burger king do whatever the fuck you know and do not return here till you weigh over 500 pounds that's a goal if not you're truly fat phobic all right my amigos let's just take a look at the last video before i pass away from <laughs> 
the stupidity. You ask someone why they think being fat is bad and they tell you it's because it's unhealthy, immediately stop listening to anything else they have to say. Because cultural fat phobia predated any medical argument against body size. This bias influenced doctors thinking and affected all the advice they gave patients and all the research that was published. If you don't believe me, Google the obesity paradox. How about I don't do that? I don't know, man. All these fucking TikToks about being fat phobic, not being fat phobic, being this and that. At this point, I am done and I am just admitting to it. And I'm joining the club, as a matter of fact. I am going to weigh 400 pounds before the summer so I could stop my fat phobia because it's just out of control. It's ruining my life.